<laughs> Welcome back guys to Virus on Mega Brutal. This is going to be fun. Bacteria is very, very straightforward. Virus is a little bit more complicated because of how it mutates. So we're going to tackle this in a slightly different way. Let's jump in. We are going to go with cytochrome surge for the um, for the extra DNA from popping the uh, the orange bubbles. We are going to go with base oxidation. Now this means that our plague can mutate transmissions, and because the the virus mutates a lot, we're going to try and take advantage of that. See, normally you go with crea uh, creationist so that you get less mutations, but we're actually going to try and take advantage of the mutations. We're going to go with aquasite for increased chance of spreading by sea because getting into places like Greenland is going to be your problem. We're going to go with uh, Extremophile for uh, a, a bonus in all environments. And this is where I go different to a lot of people. A lot of people go for Ionized Helix or Translesion because they do a lot of devolving. I'm going to try not to do so much devolving. So I'm going to go with Symptostatus and I should end up with more points uh, like by the end of the game. We will see. Should we see if we can do it? Mega Brutal, here we come. We're going to call this frickin' sharks again. Frickin' sharks with frickin' virus laser beams on their frickin' heads. Ah, I do love this. I love this. Right, we are going to start in India again. Because India is, I think India is the best starting location. And I want to make this easy. Right, we're going to crank this up to times three. Because I'm going to try and get this done in less than 16 minutes. We did bacteria in less than 10 minutes, which I was staggered by. Uh, right, this is a virus. It mutates rapidly. It costs DNA points to devolve rather than uh, getting them back. That's the big difference. So, how are we going to do this differently to bacteria? Well, we've got our first few points now. So, now normally I would go to symptoms, right? And I would get rash and I would start getting the symptoms to increase our severity. But because the disease is going to mutate, I want to try and take advantage of that. So, I'm going to start with transmission instead. And I'm going to get water. And get a few more points. So if we get a mutation now, um, I should be able to keep that mutation and that'll save me points in the long run. So we got, yeah, there you go, anemia symptom mutation, mutated. I'm happy with that. Right, we'll take, um, I'm gonna go water too. Now, like normally I would go for air, but I wanna get into the islands as quick as possible. So I'm gonna get water transmission like as fast as I possibly can. Oh, come on, baby. Give me some points. Give me some points. Now, I've got to try and remember to keep always keep some points. Just in case we evolve a nasty symptom that we need to get rid of. Because we need to avoid fatalities. Um, increasing our, our fatality. Nausea symptom mutated. That's okay. We can live with that. Right, we've got some points to spend. Let's go and spend some more points. Do I take air one at this point? Uh, I think I probably do. I'm seriously tempted to start getting into cold countries. So you know what? I'm going to get. Uh, I'm actually going to get cold resistance. It's really important to get up here and get into Greenland, to get into Iceland and Greenland and Sweden, like really early. Oh, we got a ship going around spreading the disease. That's nice. Now we should get detected. Yep, yeah, there you go. New minor disease spreading, so we've been detected. Now it's a race. Can we spread to all of the countries in, in the world uh, before we get any nasty symptoms uh, and people start closing their land borders? India started work on a cure. Right, what else are we gonna get? I'm gonna get, uh, let's see, how am I, where, we're gonna get, I'm gonna take Air One and I'm gonna take Cold 2, and I'm going to take uh, Drug Resistance 1. Cool. So hopefully we should start spreading up into the colder countries fairly rapidly. Haemophilia symptom mutated. I'm pretty sure that that's okay. In fact, that's one of the ones that I, uh, I'm quite happy to have. There's, n there's, there's a, you know, there is a tiny, tiny amount of lethality associated with um, haemophilia so I'm actually going to play this safe and I'm going to devolve that because if the countries start closing their borders 
you lose. It's, it's pretty much as simple as that. So it's worth playing it safe. We're going to have tons of points. So it's not a problem to uh, spend a few points on, on getting rid of symptoms that you don't want. Cheap clean power discovered. Yeah, don't care. We've got a few points to spend. What are we going to get? You know what? Let's get a few symptoms. We're going to get rash sneezing and, sim uh, and skin lesions. This is because we want to bump our severity up and get more bonus points. Uh, we've got 12 points. I'm going to take coughing as well. And uh, am I going to take sneezing? No, I'm going to take pneumonia. Cool. So now, as we spread to more countries, we're going to be getting more bonus points. And points are going to be important. Here we go. Frickin' Shots Awareness Day. The world is now aware of the disease. And they're going to be getting to work on the cure. Whoa, we're spreading very nicely. Right, what else are we going to get? Let's finish off transmission. So we want air two. I want insect. That's all I'm going to take in transmission. In abilities, we want drug resistance two and genetic hardening. Oh, bird one transmission mutated. That's beautiful. That'll help our land spread. We're now being placed on the watch list. That means the world's going to be developing a cure pretty damn quickly. And we've still got a lot of countries that we need to get into. So we've got 33 points to spend. We'll get um, drug resistance too. Help us out in the wealthy countries. Oh man, spreading beautifully. Still plenty of countries to get into though. The cure is coming fast. What else do we want? Uh, we'll take genetic hardening one to slow down that cure a bit. Uh, anything else that we want? Um, any other symptoms that we want? We could take vomiting. And we could take insomnia at this point. Yeah, let's, um, let's take a bit of insomnia. And we'll even take paranoia, I think. Yeah, cool. Right. Fever symptom mutated. Now, fever is a bad one because it's got lethality associated with it. So we're going to devolve that. We don't want these countries to close their land borders if they, uh, or sea, well, particularly the sea borders. If Greenland closes its sea border, you've basically lost, unless you get a miracle. Right, we've got uh, plenty of points. Is there anything else that we want to do? Mm, kind of not really. D genetic hardening too is just so expensive. Uh, yeah, we're okay on the transmissions. Any other symptoms that I want? I think we're pretty much done at this point. Until we're into every country. Oh, we're into Iceland. That's nice. What have we got left? The Caribbean, Greenland, Sweden, Morocco, Balkan states. Man, we could really do with getting into Greenland. Okay, pulmonary fibrosis symptom mutated. That's not... Uh, uh, that's not a good one. That's got lethality associated with it. So we'll devolve that. Get rid of that baby. There's quite a few countries closing borders. Oh, we're into Greenland and Morocco. We've only got the Caribbean and Sweden left. So hopefully if we can get into the Caribbean. Right, the globe, uh, the globe is now completely focused on a cure. They're at 48%. Haemophilia symptom mutated. Uh, I'll live with that. We're in Greenland. We need the Caribbean. We need Sweden. Right, we've got Sweden. It's just the Caribbean. Inflammation symptom mutated. Yeah, inflammation's okay, I think. Where's inflammation? Uh, I don't even know. Uh, that's inflammation. Yeah, a little bit of lethality. Oh, now, do we take the chance? You know, I think at this point, we're going to have to take a chance. We're going to have to take a chance. If we don't get into the Caribbean quickly, though... Oh, we got it! We got it! Now, now that we're in every country in the world, right, now we can go lethal. So, how are we going to spread our disease? We're going to go with... Um, we're going to go with necrosis. And we're going to go with 
pulmonary fibrosis and we'll go with total organ failure. That'll give us the lethality that we need. Uh, what else are we gonna go for? Yeah, I'm gonna go with, so I'd like to go down this chain, but I think maybe we go for seizures. That, see, that opens up insanity, which is a nice one for setting them back. I could also at this point go for hemorrhagic shock, which would kill insanely quickly. What are they up to in terms of the cure? Now, now I need to save some points to set them back. So, um, we should kill relatively quickly. So the world, we are infecting insanely quickly. We're starting to kill. Oh, we got paralysis. That'll set them back a little bit. So they're at 94, 90, so they're back to 89. Right, the, the cure is now 95% complete. We need to start setting them back. So I'm going to go, I think, with insanity to set them back. Let's go with insanity. Uh, we've got 46 points. Wow, I'm, uh, I'm going to save them. I'm going to, I'd love to go with hemorrhagic shock. I wish it would evolve because then we would be guaranteed a win. But I think we're still going to get there because we're killing nice and quickly. Hypersensitivity symptom, symptom mutated, that's great. We can set them back again. Uh, how are we going to set them back? Now, I could take coma. That's not a bad one. But I think we'll probably go with uh, a genetic reshuffle. Yeah, we'll go with a genetic reshuffle. So, that should set them back. Yeah, back to 82. We're killing nice and fast. Yeah, their cure progress is really slowing down now because like half, over half the uh, laboratory facilities are ineffective now. We've got 71 points to spend. Uh, we could do another genetic reshuffle, which we'll do. And at the same time, I think we'll finish the job. We'll get hemorrhagic shock. That will kill off the rest of the population so insanely quickly. So... Look, look how fast we kill. Well, don't let them get any cure points. We're at 81%. I'm going to spend the remaining points that I've got. Uh, let's see. Where? Where, where, where? We'll get... Yeah, am I going to get coma? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Well, what am I going to get? So I must admit, I really like giving the world diarrhea and dysentery. Because <laughs> just, I'm just so cruel. <laughs> So let's do that, because it's fun. Um, should we give them cysts as well? It only costs two points. Let's give them cysts. What about abscesses? Let's give them abscesses as well. Another two points. Right. Can we finish off the world? Let's hope so. Fever symptom mutated. Right, there are no healthy people left in the world. Oh dear, that's a bad bit of news for the world. We'll get, um, should we get coma? Should we get coma? What else can we get? Uh, let's get coma. Set back the, the cure even more. 72%. Previous bleeding symptom combo. Haemophilia and skin lesions are causing the infected to have blood pouring out of their skin. <laughs> Making freaking sharks far more dangerous. <laughs> I love this. Freaking sharks are destined to destroy humanity. Yes, indeed they are. And we're going to do it. The last thousand. And they're all dead. Ah, we killed the world. I ah, love it. We got four biohazard uh, signs, which is freaking awesome. We killed the world in 506 days, which is not too bad. That's a little bit longer than I like. We were, I don't know, we were really slow getting into like Sweden and, and Greenland. Uh, but it is what it is. So there you go. Four biohazards, 44,000 points. Beaten on Mega Brutal, the, the cure progress was only at 72% and it was just freaking awesome and I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed that one guys, that's basically the way to beat it. I will catch you for the next one, peace out.